Well, I want to talk about the whole uh, the whole Donovan McNabb um, kind of slander versus Carson Wentz and what's going on with that. Um, a lot of Eagles fans are going to disagree with a lot of shit that a lot of people have to say about it. Every time it involves our own quarterback or every time there's news about slander against our own quarterback, people don't agree with it or, you know, a lot of people hate on Wentz and I don't. Um, I, uh, you know, I understand, you know, I guess Donovan McNabb has the right to aim at Carson Wentz because he is had a better career than Carson Wentz as of right now. Um, you know, the highest he's gone to is the Super Bowl, not winning anything for the Eagles. And um, Carson Wentz hasn't been in a playoff, hasn't played in one playoff game yet. So I really don't know what to say about it. Um, I don't know why Donovan McNabb has any say in what Carson Wentz, what the Eagles should do with Carson Wentz, how long they should give him till 2020. He said, oh yeah, let him play till 2000. If he doesn't reach an NFC, if he doesn't reach an NFC championship game by 2020, you know, um, they should go look for another quarterback. You know, people get injured and Dominic McNabb was injured a few fucking times in his career. Um, you know, there, there's just so much that goes into it. You can't even, it, dude, it, like, you can't even go by, I take Carson, Carson Wentz is what, is three years. And you know what? I can't really do much or say much about it because the guy was pretty much hurt for a year and a half. Pretty much. He shouldn't have even came in um, in 2018. So from one injury, two injuries that he's had, back fracture plus, um, you know, uh, you know his, his leg injury that he had, you know, the LCL. It is what it is, but I don't think McNabb has too much of a right. You know, he's acting like he, we're, he's acting like this is the you know we're we're at it's it's like this this is the Patriots. You know, we're talking like say we're the Patriots right now. We're talking about Tom Brady talking about a quarterback that's with the Patriots right now. If we were all Patriot fans, you know what I mean. It makes no sense. You know, what I mean, it's not like it's Tom Brady talent. You know what I mean? It's it's Tom McNabb and. Uh, between all the off off field and don't I don't even care what the fuck anybody says about it his off the field bullshit that's happened in fucking years arrested uh driving drunk uh um you know uh you know uh not rape charges but you know it's something you know female of you know touching charges I don't whatever you know I whatever I've read over the years uh, he's been uh, you know arrested off the field you know what I mean like I I can't even you know, I don't even care what he says, and just because Donovan McNabb says everything's all right, it means that, you know, the Eagles should do what he says, or he's just stating his, okay, he's stating his opinion, I understand that. Um, I got nothing against Donovan McNabb, but honestly, you got to give Carson Wentz uh, uh, more time. I mean, seriously, seriously, I mean... Um, you know, everybody's career start out differently. Not everyone's career ends the same way, starts the same way, progresses the same way. Um, things just happen differently. And with Carson Wentz, has happened differently. A phenomenal, a phenomenal first year with the uh, phenomenal, you know, second year with the Eagles. First year, there wasn't any weapons on the team. He couldn't do much, and he was still learning. Uh, you know, and then the second year, he, he balled out. You know, and then had the accident during the uh, you know the LCL injury during the Rams game. Nick Foles came in, won the Super Bowl. Um, so Carson Wentz paved the way for Nick Foles to win the damn Super Bowl. Okay, he played. You know what I mean? It's it's all it's a mixture of shit because you know what Carson Wentz. Paved the way for Dick Foles. Most most of the games. This is why the Jaguars are signing Nick Foles and seeing if he could last 16 games a year. When's the last time Nick Foles played 16 games? I mean, we don't even know. You know what I mean? It's at this point where how do you, how do you know if, if Foles started the whole year, how do you know he wouldn't have got injured or anything like that would have happened? You know, I know Nick Foles played a few games during the regular season after the Rams. He played, what, three or four, three or three more games left? And then went to the playoffs and won everything. And went to the Super Bowl and won the Super Bowl. It is what it is. But I don't take anything that Dominic McNabb says into consideration. Because I just don't take him seriously. 
at all. Okay, he doesn't work for the front office. He doesn't work for the Eagles. I don't, whatever he says. And, and what he's saying, and what you guys need to understand is what McNabb is saying is what everyone else is saying. It's just negative, negative, negative. Not like, hey, Carson Wentz is going to have a good year this year. You know, Carson Wentz, you know, he's had a rough few years, but hey, you know, this is going to be the year. No rehab, no nothing. You know what I mean? I mean, he's rehabbing a little bit, of course, or he's just staying out of, you know, with his back fracture. But he'll be back for training camp. He'll be set. He'll get a few extra snaps in preseason than he should because he needs the snaps. And let him just roll with it. What has Don McNabb done better than Carson Wentz so far? What, an NFC Championship game? Other than that, that's it. And just going to Super Bowl doesn't mean that he, he won a Super Bowl. Just going to a damn Super Bowl doesn't mean he won a damn Super Bowl. I know I'm going to get a lot of dislikes on this video. I've already seen other vid makers make videos and everyone's getting like creamed for talking about. I don't know. I don't respect Donovan McNabb that much. I don't. He ain't no class act off the field either. Okay. And he just does a lot of this. And then a little bit of jealousy on top of it. He said good, nice things about him a long a while back. Now he's flapping his gums now that we should be trading a Q. If he doesn't make it to the NFC Championship game by 2020, we got to fucking sign somebody else or go draft somebody else. The Eagles don't think they need to do that. And I don't think they don't need to do that. And you guys can say whatever you want about it. Because I know who my quarterback is. I don't give a shit what you guys think. Of how I think about Carson Wentz. I respect opinions. But you gotta respect mine too. And everyone else that makes a video about it. Because. It is what it is. I'm not gonna harp on it too much. But. Carson Wentz is the man. And I can't wait to see him play this year. And I can't wait to see him avenge. His his resume back into the league. And do what he's gotta do. So. That's all I really gotta say guys. Um, that's it. Carson Wentz is our guy. Enough said. That's it. Peace.